So one of the areas of improvement within Adventure 2020 is the selection of regions and loops from the from the sketch environment. It's not that it wasn't possible before, they've made it far simpler to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this existing sketch and I'm going to add a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it here. You can see just kind of loosey-goosey in there. So we've got two overlapping sketches which should create three separate regions. So now if I go to extrude this, Notice how much easier, let's just move this out of the way. Notice how much easier it is to select those various regions. So all I'm doing is just moving my cursor across the screen. Notice that no select other is required. I didn't have to modify the sketch and add some points or trim it out. So it's far easier to select these now. The other thing that's a little bit clearer now is that notice when I hold control, the little plus minus signs. So it's a little bit clearer now what you're selecting or not selecting. So the whole idea about selecting various regions and, and, and the loops is, is a lot easier. So I'm going to click OK to this and I'm going to create another sketch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this sketch block and we're just going to pay, place it over top of this existing model. And again, when I go to extrude this, notice how I'm able to select the various regions from within that sketch block exactly the same as the, as the straight up sketch geometry. So it's far simpler in this instance as well to select the sketch block regions. So we'll just do an extrude cut here and generate the results that we wanted. So again, it's not really new, the ability to select sketch regions or overlapping intersecting regions is not new, it's just far easier and far simpler within Inventor 2020.